Now, first, the character and as I tell you in the beginning, we have two characters for the origin, both we and second half. So, so now this first character, Yuan, um, is used in more in philosophical text and uh, from a certain time because it appears little by little, the notion appears and develop and then takes the name of Yuan Chi, original Chi. So this character Yuan, but a long time, uh, 15 centuries before the expression Yuan Chi appears. So this character Yuan is a uh, uh, as the meaning of for what comes first, first in importance, dignity, first in time or space, in age. So the first one, the oldest one, or the first one, the more powerful, the superior one. You know, uh, so which is really uh, the meaning of this character and. Uh, so it, it was said that there is something which is already elevated and you put above another, you know, it, the last stroke above like that. So in later, uh, later, so it's later uh, scholars, they even said sometimes that it, uh, it's above beings that stand, stand on two legs, like human being. Uh, certainly it is not the meaning, the very etymological meaning. Uh, uh, so we have this kind of form. It is what comes first. So, and uh, from a certain time, but not before the first century, second, third century BC, little by little, we have this uh, meaning of the Yuan Chi as what is before everything and so we also related to the one I put here on another translation of Chutio Fanlu. Only a sage is able to link the myriad thing to the one and to bind them to the origin. If ultimately you do not reach and annulate the route from which the myriad thing proceed, you cannot succeed in your endeavor. So which means that the origin is it's the reason why they put a capital O is the absolute origin, is the origin of heaven and earth, the origin of the 10,000 beings, everything. So, and uh, so of course, it may be my origin as it is the origin of everything and all things are being. So, and this character Yuan, uh, Yuan Chi and Yuan Chi, is not found in the classical medical book, uh, at least the most ancient one, for instance, so when Lin Chu, not really so. Uh, when we have te later text, so we will the, uh, coming from the development of this Yuan Chi in philosophy and specifically in Taoism, this medical text will, uh, will uh, uh, take the notion and work with it too. But what we found in fact in a lot of medical text is more this character Yuan source, because uh, uh, of course, a source is a beginning, but the, a source, a fountain, is a beginning of a specific uh, waterway, a specific river. So it is as when we speak of Yuan, like that origin, we speak of the origin of all the source of water, the, all the fountains. But when we speak of one source, we speak of the beginning of a specific uh, waterways, a specific rivers, and with a water which has already 
some kind of characteristic according to the source, to the water of the source, the, the river, at least in the beginning, has a water which is more or less, more or less clear and turbid, more or less cold or warm, more or less with sulfur or chlor, chloride, chlor, chlor, um, chlor, yeah, you say chlor. Yeah. So, and so on, you know, all kind of things that we may have in the water, more or less salty, depends on the rocks inside of the earth before the, uh, the water comes out, and so on, and so on. And so, in fact, when we may say that when we have this character source, we have the specific source of life of one being, which is related to the absolute origin of everything and every being, you know, but which is already expressed with some characteristic. So the water of a source is not exactly the water of an other source, but all that is water. And it is in a way the same water, water is water but with not exactly the same uh, qualities. So, and also we have source which uh, gives a lot of water, you know, uh, I don't know how liter by minute sometimes is, uh, it's completely crazy. There is also other source which are able to give just a little stream of water, you know. There is all kind of differences. Also, according to the location of the source, the river will take one direction or another, will go to the sea by going north or south, going east or west. So, so, so there is already a lot of determination in the source, which are the very basic original determination of uh, uh, the river or of being, if I apply this uh, notion to a human being. You know? So, and the, the character you had, the source, the fountain, so uh, spring, yeah, spring, is a, so an ancient form is made like that. Uh, you know, there is a water which is flowing from a rocky escarpment. And you can see, for instance, here, you can see better, yeah. So, which is, so, uh, yeah. So inside, what is side is, uh, which will become that the water flowing. So, and in some character, in some ancient character, which disappear, which are no more used. Uh, so, uh, we have not only one source, you know, one source as for instance in this one, but we have the representation of um, three sources, you know, you can see there are three. And because we always have the same uh, idea that three is an expression of one. So, and what is at the origin of my own life with my specific nature is one expression of the oneness of the one, you know, and but which is already specific with determination. So it is the one, but expressed in a given life, so with some kind of determination. And it is exactly what it is. When we have our origin, we have, for instance, the yin and the yang, or the water and the fire, making my origin to my, through my kines. And so, but this uh, original yin and yang, or this uh, 
original water or fire, they already have their characteristic, their basic nature, and the way they interact one with the other. So I have the pattern of my own life and the best harmony that I may reach, which is this original one. So, and this explains that in the medical text, at least the classic, the ancient one, we do not have really this character of origin because in the medical book, books, we are not interested so much to the origin, uh, the, the oneness, the origin of heaven and earth, the origin of all the beings. We are interested at the origin of each of us, of our patient, and for my own life and the management of my own life to the origin of my own life, my true nature. So, and so it is then thus completely understandable that it is this character run, source, spring, fountain, which is used, okay? And of course, uh, the link with the source is the link with my life. If there is something which is cut at the very source of my life, uh, I cannot continue to live uh, myself. As for instance, if you block the source of a river, the river cannot continue to exist as that river. You know? So, uh, and for instance, if I said, according to the place of the soul, the river will take this or that direction to go to the sea. So there is nature, destiny, all, everything is already uh, fixed through my origin. And how it is, what makes this origin in me, it is, when we have, of course, the yin of the earth, the liquid, the essence of the progenitor, the father and the mother, sperm and blood, merging together and being the liquid, the water, the yin, able to receive and to contain uh, the, the fire or the yang coming from above, coming from, the, from heaven, and so, when we have yin and yang together, water and fire together, we have the beginning of a process of transformation, this process of transformation, building this precise life, this specific life. So, and so, it is always at the level of the kidneys that I will check if I have enough balance between my yin and yang, and it is a reason why, of course, we will have this pathology of the kidneys always uh, implying, or almost always implying several other organs, and always having consequences on the whole organism, because it is something which is no more coming uh, enough, um, well enough, from what is my constant source of life? So now, uh, what it is, it is as from an image is as if it were a kind of fountain in the depths of my abdomen or uh, in the depths of my kidneys. So coming from this uh, interplay of water and fire, yin yang, which is like the specific quality of the water coming from the source and which is the basis for the building of my life, of my body, of all what be in charge of controlling and nourishing my life. So, and so we will see that this kind of source, this source of life in me, is a source of all my organs, 
of all my channel, of all my chi, of everything. Everything has to be made and, and is necessarily made according to this uh, um, original pattern. So, of Inyang. 